everybody. I hope you're doing great. I am doing a 15 minute session for a client. I'm going to be sharing distance, psychic wisdom and energy healing to help them. Well, you've shared a lot of complicated sides of your story, but we are going to get you back on track. Okay. And I'm going to read your goals here shortly. I want to thank you so very much for reaching out. Thank you so very much for the opportunity to help you. Thank you very much for everything you shared so we could really outline your unique situation and make sense of it, okay? Thank you very much for sharing with us here on YouTube so we can all support you and learn something from you today. So thank you. All right, I'm gonna read your goals and we're gonna just dive into this, okay? So you say this, you say, Hi, Abby, I need help. I have a good life, a good job. My family is wonderful, but I'm miserable. I'm five foot nine inches and I'm normally around 115 pounds. In the past year, I have lost 15 pounds for no apparent reason. My doctor can't find anything wrong. I just don't know what's wrong with me. When I get home from work, I'm totally exhausted. I spend my weekends napping constantly, not having the energy to do anything, even when I want to. This just isn't me. I used to be very energetic, positive, and I can manifest anything. I'm very intuitive, but these days I can't connect with anything. I need help understanding what's going on with me. What can I do to be my bright, happy self again? I feel like I'm buried under a pile of rubble and I don't have the strength to dig myself out. I give you permission to share this session on your YouTube channel. I'm sure there are others feeling the same way. Thank you so much, Abby. All right. Okay, just give me a moment here. You, you did such a great job of describing everything that you, you're juggling, okay? So you've got all this good stuff going on in your life. The good life, good job, family's wonderful. But we've lost this weight, okay? So we've lost 15 pounds, no apparent reason. Not sure what's wrong with you. You're exhausted. You're napping constantly. Don't have the energy to do anything. <sighs> you're used to being energetic and positive and manifester. And you're used to being intuitive. You can't connect with anything. It's probably because you're exhausted. I need help understanding what's going on with me. What can I do to be my bright, happy self again? I want to know. I, I'm curious. What What is the influence of this weight loss? Because anybody who tries to lose weight, people who try to lose weight, not like they just accidentally lose weight. <laughs> usually exhausted okay <laughs> because your body needs that fuel for the fire you know what i mean you need ice cream <laughs> all right let's figure this out okay mm. man i'm giving you a super big hug thank you so much again for this opportunity <laughs> okay here we go okay I, I will say that when I connect with your goals too, I, I really feel very sad. I know that's part of the tone. Part of the tone is it's confusing, it's very tiring, but I feel very sad. I feel like some of you fell down a well. <sighs> okay, come on now. <sighs> I'm going out to the universe. And I'm presenting all the information. And I'm going to open the door and we're going to see what guidance and what perspective, what wisdom and healing we can share with you, okay? Okay, I feel like I'm, I'm going to be a bit bossy, like... Uh, when I, when I walk through that door, I, the first thing I experience is that I can't, I don't know where you are. And I tell you, um, where are you? Get in here, get in here and I stop hiding, get in here. And then when you, you actually do hear me and you do respond and you're very, uh, like a deflated balloon with, with legs somehow is walking its way in here. You're a bagpipe without any air. What's going on? 
I see a picture. I don't know how to understand it. It reminds me of human bones. It reminds me of fish that are eating away. Um, I don't know. Like there's fish that actually eat away dead skin cells. And they could do this maybe even on other fish or even on people. And I see there's a uh, movement on these bones and it's like kissing or consuming cells. I see bones in some kind of, um, it doesn't look like blood. It looks like a slushy material with red slushy material. I also see that the slushy material is pale and it shouldn't be pale. It should be, uh, it should be vibrant, it should be super red. I see a sponge and this sponge doesn't have a, I mean, I, this really feels like a physical condition. I know you said your doctor said there was nothing wrong, so I am guarantee your doctor did all kinds of blood work and different things, but um, there's a lack, what, I mean, I see the experience of a lack of vitamins, a lack of, um, the sponge is missing the liquid in order for it to be useful. And then even when it has the liquid, it's missing an ingredient in the liquid for it to be useful and it has something to do you know the, what this makes me think of is maybe like bone marrow isn't it kind of spongy uh, this seems like the sponge is missing an ingredient and it feels like the fuel which is like vitamins Okay, what can I do? Because you need full, full-fledged resuscitation here, and on a physical level. I see a body that is draining of color. Literally, it's like a, a vampire that drains the blood, but somehow this vampire just drains the color, and you're becoming pale. All right, and I say, okay, I show this you who's walked in, you know, the bagpipe without the air in it. <laughs> it's just, uh, you've walked in, and I say, thank you for being present with me today. And I say, I'm looking at these pictures. This is the best I can do to describe I'm bringing conscious attention to these pictures. Um, but I can move some energy somehow, some way here for you. Um, I want you to talk to me about what I'm looking at. I want you to talk to me about it. I want to put our heads together here and figure out what we can do to bring you back to life. Because, because it sounds to me like you're taking ownership that you are embracing life, that you're excited to be alive, that you have a zest for life, that life is, um, um, you know, it's just a, it's a 4th of July show, you know, it's just a, life is worth living, you know? When I say these words, that actually exhausts you too. Because I, I want you to echo back that, yes, I agree with all those statements. That you can't echo it back. What ends up happening is you, you kind of, I don't know, it's like wood, ch wood chips. Um, you're kind of puking out wood chips. And your head gets very dizzy, it's spinning, and then you, you fall to the ground and pass out. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm still learning some things. I'm not, it's not time for me to shift gears and see what I can do to fill in the blanks vibrationally. Right now, I'm still looking at the information as it comes, okay? So let's see what the next thing is. All right. I am starting to create an idea of a solution. And basically, I, I take you to what can only be described as an amusement park. 
But this amusement park, it's not about the rides and the games. It has um, other uh, sides to it. Like, there's this huge park that is for walking in nature and gardens and fishing even. And I can feel the sensation of rides and games. But right now I'm walking you in this part of this park that it has a uh, grass and gardens and there's a literally a, f a large fishing pond. There's a sense that I'm separating you from sound and helping you to feel like you can breathe inside, like in and out of your heart. Like you've been inhaling in and out of a balloon. And no more balloon to inhale and exhale from your heart, inhaling and exhaling from the heart. I'm completely silencing your connection to every single sound, every person, every idea, every responsibility, everything, okay? Completely disconnecting your relationship with everything. And I'm telling you that so far, vibrationally, this is, you are in a predicament, okay? You are so exhausted that I have to disconnect you from the sound of life itself. Like, you're very exhausted from all the sounds that are even creating some stress and responsibility of your body. And your body doesn't have the energy to to deal with it. That's serious. No wonder you're napping constantly because that's your way of separating from the, all the sounds because your body can't digest all this information. So when I bring you into this very super quiet place, that's very peaceful. There's something simple about the fish in the pond. And I start to remember that, you know, most of these amusement parks, they do have like a little koi pond and you can feed the fish. Because I, I see that we have those pellets in our hands and we're kind of laughing a little bit because there's so many fish. <laughs> it's like, like you can actually touch them and they just start to bundle up in these huge, like, these just like, like an iceberg, you know, there's like all these patches of fish and they're desperate for a little kernel. <laughs> just, their mouths are always going. <laughs> and so I, I, we have all, 25 cents gets you a handful, okay? And so we're feeding these fish and they're like, like they're so hungry. And I say, you're starving. You're starving. And I, I say, you know what, it, we've got 25 cents, but we've got 25 cents times like a million. <laughs> We're going to buy all the fish kernels, <laughs> all the pellets, all the bites. We're gonna buy it all. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna have a giant stockpile of this. We're gonna just feed these koi until they're just so incapable of even moving. <laughs> it's gonna be great. But you feel a little... Um, something feels wrong. And... They say there's nothing wrong. And I smile and I say, here, feed these koi. You're very hesitant to feed these fish. And I say, you have to feed these fish. They're hungry. We have to feed the koi fish. They're hungry, otherwise they're going to die. You start to cry and something is grinding in your stomach. They say we have to feed the koi fish. And you're 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 losing your color again and you, you lie down on this it's just a little um, boardwalk. It's just a it's just kind of where we're standing and you lie down on it. And you start to cry. New tears fill the pond. And the koi are not impatient with you. They're just waiting. 
And I say, what's happening here? Why are you going through this experience right now? I tell you that I'm going to feed these koi fish and I want to see how it impacts you because you and these koi are connected. And so when these koi are fed, you will feel fed. And I'm going to do this for you. And I cry with you as well. And I just cry with you. And I feed these koi until we don't even have a little kernel left to feed them. And the koi actually fall asleep for a long time and the pond becomes kind of a... comes dark and muddy. The koi fall asleep in the mud and the mud encases them in a tomb. And something looks... Uh, odd about your eyes like your eyes are like fish eyes and you're kind of encased in the mud in the tomb of what was once a thriving pond is now just a burial ground hmm. just a moment here I tell you, it only feels this way. That's not actually the way it is. I say we need to be patient now and just let nature run its course. Because we're going to start to see that this pond never became mud and it never became a tomb. And when we fed those fish, we brought them back to life and everything's better than it ever was before. But there is a strange intermission of time and that time is a bit of an agony and there's a lot of um, energetic fear. I say, what is inspiring you to lose this weight? This is, um, this is a key component. This is a key component here. It is such a key component. You've gone to the doctor. I mean, this is a red flag. This is a key component. What I need to know if, in your energy field, I say, what is causing this? Is it a subconscious choice? Is it a conscious choice that you just, I don't know why we make these choices, but there's, we just need to know, I need to know in your energy field, why is this the right path? Because this is creating so much hardship for your life. All right, this is the response. We go back to the scene where the fish are entombed in mud. And you have the fish eyes and you're kind of just lying there. And you represent... Um, a dead fish that landed on the boardwalk and just died, okay? So we just go with what comes, all right? I don't know what this is telling me other than that's the scene. So let's see what comes next. It's awful. I mean, there's a bird that comes and starts eating your flesh. And you just let it eat your flesh. But what's interesting is you're still alive somehow. It's like your soul is, is alive in a dead body. Literally, that's the scene. I, I don't know if this is paralleling another time and place. I've witnessed souls, act, like a human being, die and their soul is still in that actual decaying body. It's weird. So maybe somewhere at some time, your soul is still in some rotting corpse somewhere. I mean, that's possible. And maybe it's, uh, oddly enough, we've come full circle, we've tripped um, across the memory, and now we need to face it. I don't know. So i got to be open-minded here. But you're, it represents your soul is still in a body that died that is being eaten now by a bird. And your soul just wants to be eaten as well. Your soul wants to be eaten.
that must be why it felt like when I was reading your goals, like you fell down a well, because that's, that's like a state of, of despair. That's a state of um, getting swallowed up, right? So we're going to just let, let's just let this ball roll. I mean, sometimes we got to go downhill in order to work through something we can't understand. So we're just going to take this, we're just going to keep this going, okay? Let's just see what happens next. You're thinking through this, uh, and it, it's, I don't know how to make sense of it. It's both the physical materials and your consciousness are sinking through the boards of this boardwalk and sinking into the mud. And you're sinking into this koi fish pond of the, where they were entombed. And you're sinking deeper and deeper into the ground past the koi fish pond. You're sinking deeper. It somehow represents the say, the solar plexus chakras, so it represents the gut energies, and we digest emotions, we digest food, so it represents this gut energies. But the both the phys some physical matter and consciousness, soul energy, is going down into the ground, deeper. And I can't force it to go any faster. I just have to wait. You're basically falling asleep in time and you're wanting time to just um, move you like a piece of pollen on the wind. Um, like, uh, I don't know, water that trickles through the ground uh, forever or something. It's just uh, where you just completely let go of physical existence and complete like energetic existence, but you're still physical. Energetic existence, yet still physical, which is a agonizing depression, really. It's where you just become so heavy um, and so just uh, timeless in a way. It's so disconnected and so, um, I don't know, is this... You're going to have to really be self-observant here and, and really be clear with, with yourself if something inside feels like sadness. If something inside, whether you can pinpoint it from this life or it's coming from somewhere else, but something feels like sadness, something feels like... Uh, it just... This makes me also... It's a vibrational like purgatory type energy, but it's not foggy. It's not like... Um, never able to find my way out of here and I'm forever lost in the fog and um, I even forgot myself, I forgot my life. Like purgatory can be a very forgetful, um, never ending eternity and we can walk in purgatory and on planet earth at the same time. So um, you can have aspects of yourself in purgatory. That's what soul retrieval is all about. But uh, and so yeah, you just, you reach kind of an underground water body and you're just on the water body and you're just, honestly, you look like a um, roadkill just floating along the underground water. So that's a kind of deep sadness. That's uh, the desecration of oneself, the loss completely of oneself. Um, letting go of oneself. It's a trap between life and death. It's, um, I mean, that's what I'm being shown here. So, naturally, I don't like to end anything on, like, this dreary note, right? Um, all I can share is what comes to me, but I do want to see what we can do to put the pieces together, to help rebuild you, to help bring you back to life, right? Because the goal is for you to recover yourself, to be the you that you're familiar with, the you that makes sense, right? And so something has happened here, whether this is a reflection of um, your body is going through a very difficult time, 
um, related to this energetic flow of sorts, related to this definitely this weight loss is exhausting the living daylights out of you and you need to make sure you're getting enough vitamins. Um, I mean, this is actually concerning as to the overall well-being of your physical health. So um, it is, it's super important, okay? It's like... Um, um, the alarm is going off, but I don't hear the sound of an alarm, but the, the red flag, like the, this is, um, this is worth getting perspective on. This is worth looking at. This is worth solving this. So what I'm going to do is these pictures are simply helping us to understand the movement and flow of your energy, but also we have the ability to shift the flow of energy. So that's why I keep going back to this you and saying, so life is worth living. You're alive. You feel great to be alive. And so we need to take ownership of those energies and those words and ownership of the you that is so familiar to you, right? But sometimes we do have to get tripped down the stairs. Life is, sometimes throws us weird curveballs. We don't know who we are during this weird time and things happen and it's complicated. It's strange. And we want to get back to the familiar old us, but we're actually transitioning into a new us that we're going to develop into a familiarity with. And so we need that energy or that spark um, to, help, to help shift this flow. But it doesn't seem like you're able to use that energy to get yourself out. So I can use the energy to help you, okay? Where you, you lack the energy to do it, then I can fill in that blank. You know what I mean? So what I do is I'm just taking the, the kind of carcass in the underground waterway and what I'm doing is just lifting it up and out and I'm saying you're not a carcass. You're a beautiful, thriving, living, amazing human being. And I'm just looking right now at the scene and I'm just placing you on your own two feet. Tell that bird to shoo. Feed this stinking fish. Fill this pond with water. Get it back to life. Get yourself back to life. Go have an adventure. Go to the theme park. Go to the amusement park. Go to the adventure land. Ride the rides and have some fun playing games. It's like, uh, feed yourself life. To feed yourself uh, experiences. Um, this is taking a toll on you. So, so I'm, I'm lifting your energy spirits back up again, okay? Yeah. So, this is what I can do for you for now. Hmm. Hug, okay? Hug. We all go through strange times. And thank you for sharing your strange time with us. Thank you for giving me a chance to try to make sense of it, perspective on it. You've got plenty to think about here. And just keep working on making sense as best you can. And, and working on it, it's, it's almost like um, you've got to get your energy back. You've got to make sure to take those vitamins um, and make that like top priority, even if you, you don't feel energetically alive doing it. Because there's a lot of resistance feeding those fish in the pond. So there's something of a resistance of getting, getting that weight back, okay? And so that's important that you do that. Okay, it's key. It's super key that you get that weight back and you make sure to eat, take some vitamins. Okay, because your body needs it. You get pale. Okay, I know you can do this. I know there's gonna be another side of the story and I'm looking forward to it. Okay, thank you again for this. And those watching, if you need me to look into anything for you, do some energy work for you. You can book a session at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. All right, bye for now.